Let's now go to Jake, who's standing live outside of Petco Park. Hi, Jake. Hi, we threw you a curveball there, right? And it, it will be electric down here, Marcelo. The Padres haven't hosted a home playoff game with fans in the stands in 16 years. And you think about it, this has been a long time coming. Give the Padres organization credit for making this effort. You think back to when they signed Eric Hosmer, and I know that didn't work out the way Padre fans wanted, but at the time, that was the largest contract in franchise history, showing that this team wanted to make that effort. Then a year later, they gave Manny Machado the biggest contract in free agent American history. They would then trade for you, Darvish and Blake Snell. Of course, this year they brought in Juan Soto. It's that effort that has the fans appreciating this franchise in what should make an electric atmosphere here tomorrow night and Saturday night. Pretty consistent all year. I don't know what a, another level will look like, but if there is one, um, I'm sure we're going to see it tomorrow. So. You know, like I said, I can't say enough about the fan base and what they've done this year. Um, I don't know how they can surpass as far as enthusiasm what they've done during the season, but I wouldn't put it past them tomorrow. Well, from all the hype I keep hearing and my phone doesn't stop blowing up, um, I think it would be pretty, pretty crazy. Um, just the people that I know here, like everyone has asked me for a ticket that I know, like just friends, people I talk to. Uh, so I stopped replying. Sorry. You heard Blake Snell there. He is tomorrow's starter for the Padres. He's going to take on Tony Gonsolin for the Dodgers, who's coming off an injury, so don't expect Gonsolin to go too deep into this game. First pitch at 537, and you heard Bob Melvin there. Sounds like a challenge to you Friar fans. Got to bring the energy in this series.